Well, there is Janet Jackson's hole is just on my right hand side and we had a brief view or glimpse of her jumping up and then there's just been this incredible noise. It sounds like they're fighting inside here. Can you hear it? So there's squeaking. So I don't know if it's fighting or if she's got little babies inside here that are complaining. So I'm not 100% sure what's actually going on. I can't see anything. All I can do is just hear squeaks and squawks and all kinds of noise going on inside there. The other thing that I was thinking, if it's not young ones or if it's not another genet, that there has been a lilac breasted roller that's been trying to nest here. And the, there's the tail. See the tail on the top? There's the tail of the genet on the top there, wagging in the breeze. So there we go. What's going on inside there? There comes the lilac breasted roller as well. And it's now just flown away. So I wonder if this genet's going to come out and if there's more than one genet inside here and they're busy having a little fight or it's raiding the nest of the roller and is actually getting to the chicks and there you can see the tails going in and out. Can you hear it? There they're fighting, they're on top, it looks like there's more than one. I'm gonna go back because actually I can see the tails on the top of the tree, the rollers back and forth. I wonder if it's not hunting the chicks, there's the tail again. So let's just stop here, maybe we'll get a better view of it from here. But there's the, the tail just on top of the tree. What's going on? There's definitely some sort of commotion inside there and I mean it's not from us. There's the roller, alarm calling and making a racket. There goes the genet back into the hole. Interesting. I wonder what's going on there. That's crazy. Now I'm super, super sad while I sit here and wait for our genet to see there comes the tail again. To hear that Tumba just killed a massive male impala and just north of Tundams and the hyenas came and stole it from him and chased him all the way down into Little Gari. So he crossed out. Apparently it happened in all about five minutes, but he brought down a massive male impala and then he got chased off his kill. So I'm super sad for him. That's not uh, nice at all. And the hyenas have been so, so sort of sparse lately that I, for one to turn up when he kills a massive impala really sucks. I was hoping he would get a f meal and get some time to feed off it. Yesterday we saw he was a little bit skinny. But anyway, at least we know that he is able and capable of bringing down even big impalas, which is pretty cool to hear. I think that's the first time we've heard of him killing anything big. So Aubrey said he came around the corner and he was busy throttling the impala and then the hyenas came in while the impala was pretty much alive and chased him off it and then he, they ran after him all the way past Twin Dams into Little Gari. So that's a bit sad. But there's the tail of the gen. It's still flapping in the breeze. So I'm not sure what's going on and what's happening inside there that there's so much squeaking and why a tail is sticking out. But I would imagine it's got something to do with there's maybe some young ones in there or it's found the nest for these rollers when it tried to get away from me and is busy sorting them out. But it's gone quiet now, so it doesn't seem to be as noisy. Love my, you're asking for genet is similar to a civet. Well, not really. I mean, genets are much longer, more elongated animals that have long tails. Civets are a little bit more stoutly built and are much bigger than what you see of a genet. A genet is a sort of low to the ground, small little legs, but very long, whereas civets tend to have quite long legs and they're sort of rounded but coloration is very similar so they have the, a similar sort of black and, and silvery color to them and I'll try to find pictures of both of them to show you the differences just give me two seconds all right so there's our genet which you can see because we had only a little tail sticking out it's not the greatest picture of the genet but there we go it's got this sort of big ear section here longish face and a long body with small legs and then this long tail that hangs all the way down so even though we saw a tip of that tail you can see how much longer the body is where the tail kind of finishes down here somewhere the civets on the other hand it's not great pictures in this book but is 
a much more stout animal it's kind of got a more dog-like face or raccoon like and then it's got a big body and 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 this very short stumpy tail but they are essentially both nocturnal animals and the, and the coloration is similar but other than that they have quite different in the way that they look you also find genets are far more arboreal than what you see with a civet. A civet will spend quite a bit of time on the ground but genets mostly up in the trees sort of scavenging around for food. They do come down every now and then to grab food on the ground but most of the time they try and spend in the trees. I want to just roll forward and just see maybe this genet has come back down to one of the holes that we can see it. It was all curled up its head just putting out the hole when we first arrived which was really cool but unfortunately it ran up. It got a bit of a fright with us no, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Tail is not out anymore. Oh no. That's not ideal. Anyway, that was quite cool to hear though. I wonder what was going on there. Maybe we just need to keep coming and keep checking this area.